This little guy we, is named Thumper. He came to us just about a couple of weeks ago. He is about a year old, and I'm going to yield to our bunny experts who might be watching Pet Pals as to his breed. Uh, we've got down mini Rex. Uh, when I look at him, I see dwarfs. So if anybody wants to weigh in on that, you are always more than, than welcome to. Um, he is definitely very affectionate. And the reason he was turned in, the person had acquired him originally from a friend had him for about six months and then the landlord prohibited that person from keeping Thumper any longer. So uh, that's another area that of concern. If, if you rent and you're considering getting a pet, uh, you really have to have some respect for your landlord and consider the uh, alternatives. If, if you're not allowed to have pets, um, maybe talk to your landlord first and try to work out a compromise or just respect the rules that there are no pets allowed what um, happens a lot of times is that people try to sneak in pets and then inevitably your landlord will find out. Either the animal will make noise, um, leave behind you know, evidence that they've been there, um, maybe do damage to the place that you're renting. So you just need to be mindful. The last thing you want is to acquire a pet and then have to turn it into the animal shelter because your landlord said no while they said no from the beginning and you just disregarded that. So just keep that in mind. Um, but again, if you've got a landlord that's open to ideas about you know keeping an animal maybe contained in one room or caged appropriately so they're not free roaming and damaging um, the rental property, all those things come into play. So a lot of times just real good communication with your landlord can um, eliminate a lot of issues. But Thumper again is just a, one of our tiny rabbits. For rabbits again, they they're very social creatures. They need to be housed safely, though. They are prey animals. So if you have dogs or cats or other larger animals in your family, you want to make sure that whatever housing unit you're using is um, dog-proof, cat-proof, and predator-proof overall. You also want to supervise any interaction between a bunny and your other pets. You want to make sure that you provide a, an appropriate diet. And again, that once a year, nose to tail exam from a veterinarian that understands bunnies is important. You can um, just save a lot of heartburn and heartbreak if you just have them examined at least once a year or if you notice that maybe the bunny's not eating, not drinking, not eliminating properly. All of those things are up to you as a pet owner to observe and take notice of and then uh, act appropriately. But this little guy is definitely adorable. The, the adoption fee for bunnies is $50 and that covers getting them spayed or neutered um, and of course keeping uh, them up to speed on uh, preventatives and, and good diet while they're here at the shelter. So we encourage you if you're thinking about adopting a bunny, ask the questions first, get prepared, and then come in and visit with the bunny of your choice.